Today I'm reviewing this Quizlab Thunderbolt 5 NVMe SSD storage enclosure with a PCIe Gen 5 SSD. First of all, disclaimer, this is a review unit provided by the company and the price of this at the time of review is US $199. And the model number for this product is ES41TR. This is the packaging box and this SSD enclosure features a fanless design and transfer speed is advertised to be up to 80 gigabits per second. These are the items in the box. The SSD enclosure, a 50 centimeter long Thunderbolt 5 cable, quick start guide, carrying pouch, two pieces of thermal paste, the screwdriver and one screw and there is another screw already inside. The SSD enclosure and cable can fit inside the carrying pouch quite nicely and I like the velvet-like texture of this pouch. The body is made with aluminum and the build quality is extremely solid. There are fins at the top and bottom for heat dissipation and you can see this design which looks pretty cool, um, pun intended. When you connect the cable, this green light will appear and this is the latch to pull down to open the enclosure. On the other side, we have the branding, the USB-C port, the 80 gigabits per second, transfer speed advertised. The bottom has two rubber feet with good grip on the table. The corners are beveled. And if you want to, you can actually put this enclosure like this vertically instead of flat on the table because the sides are completely flat. To open the enclosure you just well pull here. So this is a screwless design. The NVMe SSD is obviously not included. So this is the other screw I was talking about. You can use different lengths of SSDs and the controller is the JHL9480 and the chip is the Realtek RTD9210. Now this SSD enclosure is backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 4 and 3 and USB 4. To get the maximum transfer speed out of this SSD enclosure, you need to use a PCIe Gen 5 SSD and this one that I have here is from the brand 6. And this is a review sample provided by 6 and I only have one terabyte here but the company does sell larger storage capacity. Installation is pretty straightforward. Just pop this in, put the screw here, push it down, make sure the screw is holding down the SSD and now you can screw this in. The thermal paste has to be applied on the SSD so that this can be in contact with the bottom plate for effective cooling. After everything is in, you just pop this back. I've just connected the SSD enclosure to my M4 Pro Mac Mini with Thunderbolt 5 port. So let's select the drive to test the transfer speed. And obviously you will need a computer that has Thunderbolt 5 in order to take advantage of the transfer speed. This is crazy fast. So the read and write speed is up to 6 gigabytes per second. It's all green check marks here up to 12K DCI 60. Just for comparison purposes, I have switched to using a PCIe Gen 4 SSD inside the enclosure and this is the Western Digital SN750. So let's select that and start the speed test. So the speed, the transfer speed is really fast as well, but this is like half of the Thunderbolt 5 speed. Even with the Gen 4 PCIe SSD, I am still able to get all the green check marks here. So whether you need the extra speed really depends on the type of work that you do. And the next test I want to show you is the transfer speed for my Thunderbolt 4 SSD enclosure with a Gen 4 PCIe SSD and the transfer speed that I see here is wow this is actually much slower relatively speaking compared to the Gen 4 SSD inside the Thunderbolt 5 SSD enclosure so this is like 25% of Thunderbolt 5 I'm using this to edit 4k videos and it actually works fine 
So the company advertised 6 gigabytes per second transfer speed and you get 6 gigabytes per second transfer speed. So I am very impressed by the transfer speed. Oh, the weight of this SSD enclosure is 250 grams. And here on the product page is a list of SSDs that are compatible with this storage enclosure and I will provide a link to this product page in the video description below. This does run hot during operation, which is to be expected and that probably means the heat dissipation design works. So this looks good and works well and this is something I can recommend quite easily if you need really fast transfer speed. Just make sure you get a PCIe Gen 5 SSD and you have a computer with Thunderbolt 5 support. 